Do you have PCOS, diabetes, obesity, and you have tried to lower your calorie intake or tried several other diets all to no avail? Then this video is for you. Hi, this is Lifestyle Dietitian. My name is Olutuko and I'm a registered dietitian. On this channel, I talk about diabetes, weight loss, nutrition, healthy eating, and lifestyle. If these are topics that interest you, do subscribe to my channel and join the community. And let's discuss nutrition and good health. And for my returning subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Welcome back. The standard advice for people struggling to lose weight is eat less, move more. And it is based on the theory that weight loss occurs when you eat less calorie than you spend or burn and go on a low fat diet. This is basically true, but sometimes it doesn't work for some persons and you will find out why. You see, if you have PCOS, diabetes or obesity, there is a deeper cause of the stubborn weight and that is insulin resistance. Insulin is a hormone made by the pancreas. When you eat and the glucose level rises in the blood, insulin moves glucose from the blood into the body cells. But in insulin resistance, the body cells do not respond to insulin for some reasons. So glucose level rises up in the blood and the pancreas makes more and more insulin thinking that the increased level of glucose is due to low insulin. And what happens? There is high level of insulin in your blood, which is called hyperinsulinemia, and your blood sugar rises. When this happens, a number of things begin to occur. Your body begins to store excess glucose as fat because increased insulin signals the liver to store excess fat. You begin to experience the symptoms of insulin resistance. Now, some specific symptoms of insulin resistance makes it more difficult for you to lose weight. Increased hunger, cravings for sugar and carbs, increased fast storage. But does this mean that it is impossible to lose weight when you have insulin resistance? Not at all. You definitely can. But you need to focus on the root cause, which is balancing blood sugar levels and lowering the levels of circulating insulin. Now, here are four methods backed up by science for reversing insulin resistance and losing stubborn weight. Method number one, go on a low-carb diet. Following a low-carb diet helps you in a number of ways. Keeps your blood sugar levels from going too high. Reduces your body's need for insulin. In other words, reduces insulin resistance. Reduces extreme hunger and cravings. A proper low-carb diet means higher intake of fiber, protein, and healthy fats, which keeps you feeling full and satisfied. And ultimately, you will achieve weight loss because you eat less carbs and your body turns to eat fat stores for energy. Here is a simple tip to lower your carb intake. If you eat three meals per day, reduce carbs to only one meal per day. Also note that you need to maintain good portion control even on a low carb diet. Method number two, intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, which is cycling between periods of fasting and eating, has not only been proven to facilitate weight loss, but also improve overall insulin resistance and overall health. Over 40 studies have shown that intermittent fasting was effective for weight loss and can help people lose up to 10 pounds in about 10 weeks. When you constantly eat, your body produces insulin all day. But during times of fasting, your blood insulin level drops. There is little or no production of insulin as the blood glucose level also drops. This lowers insulin resistance and promotes weight loss. There are different methods of intermittent fasting. We have the 5-2 method where you eat normally for 5 days a week and then go on a reduced calorie diet two days a week and we have the 16 8 method which involves eating within an eight hour window and fasting for the remaining 16 hours of the day method number three the use of apple cider vinegar several studies have discovered that when individuals with insulin resistance drink diluted apple cider vinegar before eating carbohydrates 
we have a slower increase in blood sugar and of course a slower body insulin response apple cider vinegar has the following health benefits it slows down the absorption of carbohydrates it slows down carb digestion improves blood fats it curbs appetite hence reduces your food and calorie intake method number four eating low glycemic index meals low glycemic index foods produce a slow release of glucose from foods they decrease insulin resistance and insulin levels decrease free fatty acids and inflammation so eating foods of low glycemic index resolves hyperinsulinemia and promotes weight loss Foods of low glycemic index include, but is not limited to, high protein foods such as lean meat, fish, milk, Greek yogurt, unsweetened soy milk, legumes, pulses, beans. An exhausted list of low to medium glycemic index foods. Please check out my video on low glycemic index foods up here. You do not have to use all these four methods. You can choose one or combine two methods. You can combine the use of apple cider vinegar with a low carb diet or with a low glycemic index eating. Whichever one you choose, if you use the information from this video, together with good portion control and regular exercise, you'll see amazing results in your weight loss journey. If you enjoyed this video, which I'm sure you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And don't forget to share this video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye and thanks for watching.